Greetings all, Last Outrider here with an interesting video. A hybrid video about Warhammer Plus and a burning question, Squid Games. What do I think about these two things? First, very quickly, Warhammer Plus. Well, I got the subscription. I watched the videos that are available so far. And I have to say, I'm not disappointed. By this, I mean that they are exactly what I expected them to be. Does that mean they're good? No. That means that they are exactly what I expected them to be. The grim dark of 40k is dying. Games Workshop wants to be, wants Warhammer 40k to be a more family friendly, mainstream universe. These stories do that. Angels of Death is dark in lighting only. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yes, they talk a nice gothic, oh, we're gonna die game, but anybody who knows anything about Space Marines a star day would expect something more brutal. On the other hand, their enemies are perfect because you can be as brutal as you want to a Tyranid and nobody will care. You can curb stomp Tyranid heads all day and all night and nobody will care. They are the generic monster of Warhammer. So that's a good choice to be brutal while still being family friendly. I guess they're going to focus more on the self-sacrifice part and we're all going to die but we're going to keep fighting anyway aspect of Grimdark, which is fine. Uh, Hammer and Bolter, they're fine. You know, I mean, the stories are fine. I have no real criticism of them. They're, they're, they're family friendly. I'm not going to nitpick on some tiny little directing, you know, criticism because I don't care. And uh, it, it, it certainly wouldn't matter enough for me to say that it makes it bad, which I seem to be seeing in other videos. Oh, look, the Dreadnought. It just, it didn't act fast enough for me to be happy with this story. Okay, well, then just, you know, go fucking die or something if you're that dramatic. Now, on to the main topic. Squid Games. <laughs> I have resisted watching this for a long time. It's been out for a little bit, but I didn't really care. So, but people kept on asking, what do you think of Squid Games? Have you seen Squid Games? So I figured I gotta see it before it gets ruined for me, before eventually the spoilers just get out, and then I really won't care about watching it, so... I should watch it before I find out anything about it. And also, I just got tired of avoiding spoilers about Squid Games. If I wasn't going to watch it, should I really give a shit about the spoilers? And so I watched it. Here's my answer. Um, there are just too many plot holes in Squid Games for me to really be emotionally moved by the stories. Maybe other people are not intelligent enough to understand the plot holes, in which case they can be moved. But for me, they were too glaringly obvious. I'm going to give you the, the one that bothered me the most. 
was the one where they had the pair up as team and play a game with each other and eliminate each other and that was supposed to be the most emotionally jarring game really of the series other than the finale but <laughs> you had this little gangster guy right and the rules as i understand stood it were very clear you played a game somebody got all your marbles you lose and they shoot you in the face he played the game with this other guy. He lost all his marbles. Then he walks up to the guard and says, I want another game. Give me another game, damn it. And they said, accepted. And he gets to play. What? That just, okay, I give up. You're done. Yeah, I don't give a shit what happens from here on out. Okay, because there is no rhyme or reason to any of this. I know, you, it, whatever. Then, um, you have the guy who's, you know, cheating the Pakistani. Hey, go take these. I'm going to fill this bag up with rocks and go run around and look for people. And in the end, I have the marbles. And then he says to the guard, it's very clear. You said I'm supposed to have the marbles at the end of the time. but And I can't use violence to get them, so I win. Yeah, that's true. But it also said you need to play a game. Where was the game? I don't see the game. The guy won the game. You know, he had one marble left. So actually, they both should have been shot in the face. Yeah, he physically had all of the marbles, but he, they, they, didn't, they didn't play a game. Or I should say, no, no, no. They didn't finish their game. They started the game, then he went crazy and, and got all the marbles from the guy, but they did not finish their game. Which would mean... According to their rules, they are both eliminated. Period. Um, so once once you eliminated those two as the main heartstring pullers of that episode, the rest doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, you go on to the next episodes, and then the, well, those they should be dead. So suddenly, this one woman. I guess once, you know, a suicide pact uh, and pull the guy off the slide. Uh, I mean, off of the bridge. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, it's just too moronic at this time. So let me give you my suggestions for better things for you to watch if you like Squid Games. Runner up. And this is on Netflix. And I don't know why it's not as popular. Alice in Borderland is the exact same story. Except that it's live action anime. It's the, the games were more um, inventive and definitely more uh, believable. There was no glaring uh, plot holes that I can see. They took care of most of the plot holes by making it kind of a supernatural arena. So therefore, <clears throat> strange things could happen. But since the whole situation is kind of metaphysical in a way, they can you can forgive it. Uh, the the VIPs, oh my, I mean, the, the logistics of creating Squid Games is absurd. The idea that this was going on for years and years and years and nobody noticed and it was all just about money. Obviously, it's a crit critique of capitalism, and I got that, especially in-stage capitalism, I guess, especially since all the VIPs were your classic fat, white guy, rich perverse Donald Trump-esque character is yeah, whatever um 
Alice in Borderland is better. And I and uh, Alice in Borderland season two is going to come out, and they're going to have to raise the bar on that one because they actually didn't finish the story in Alice Borderland season one. So I'm looking to actually find out what is the reason for that story to actually be taking place. So my first suggestion is watch Alice in Borderland on Netflix. And uh, I liked it better. Next, my ultimate suggestion is for this genre of story. In other words, the story of you got a bunch of people forced to play games with life or death consequences and stakes and you look at the characters and you're going to get attached or involved to the characters to see where they live or die. In that case, if we're going to expand this to all of the stories that had that premise, my favorite is Blood Drive. Blood Drive is some of the most awesome character development and story writing and uh, fourth wall breaking freakishness that I have ever seen. And I go to Burning Man. <laughs> I swear, Burning uh, Blood Drive was like Burning Man on a bad trip. Seriously, it was absolute a post-apocalyptic Burning Man almost in a way. It was just amazing, and it was too amazing. I mean, I was watching this saying, holy crap, they made this? They literally made this? They put it on TV? Not even on Netflix, on TV? Wow. Just wow. Um, yeah. It, it, I, I'm not just go watch it find it watch it I, I don't I, I don't know if it'll ever appear on Netflix or HBO go but it is amazing um, it has all of the same elements as squid games all of the same elements as Alice in Borderland only it does it better with more original characters more original traps I guess and more original everything uh, all the way up until the end um, fantastic. I hope somebody actually takes my suggestion and go out and look up that show and, and the season one of it. And maybe, <laughs> who knows, in some universe somewhere, they actually made the season two of it, which they, which would be nice. But that is my videos for you today. I'm still here. I'm still waiting for, you know, to see the other shows on Warhammer Plus, but so far it's all going as I expected. It's the march towards mainstream has commenced. The march towards uh, Space Marines all becoming, you know, versions of basically Captain America super soldiers has begun. Marvel comic version of Warhammer is out there. Um, I guess at this point in time, Grimdark simply means blood. But if that's the case, then Deadpool is Grimdark. And Deadpool is a, is a property that Disney is happy with. So that is my thoughts about all of these. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will see you next time. Bye.